Hey everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching. Today, this week, I have had a little splurge at Tonic Studios. So I went a bit crazy with the Nouveau, well, within the Nouveau range. Um, I'm pretty much there now with the collections. There's still a few colours that are sold out and um, I need to kind of hunt them down from other suppliers, I guess. But with this purchase now, I'm, I'm almost there. So I've got all the vintage drops now. These are really nice, I like these colours. There's the jewel drops, I've got three more there. I think I'm only missing two, possibly now. Got some more glitter drops, love this one. And then the, I guess the traditional, the crystal drops here, really nice. Love this colour here. And then some more crystal drops there. And then I finished with some stone drops. They're probably the one that I don't have. I think I've only got one. I'm just looking. Yeah, I think I've got one or two others. And then that's it. So only the five. They're, the stone drops have got like a gritty texture to them, but they still give you a really nice drop and they self-level. So um, just gives you a slightly different effect. That's all. But yeah, I'm really pleased with these. I got them on the weekend where they had a lot of bundle deals. So that was a bundle. So I think it worked out that you got two for free. Um, so you want to try and shop them if you want to get like a, you know, a nice amount. Try and get them when they have offers on. And um, if you subscribe to the, their newsletters or something like that, you get the emails anyway. So that's how I knew. So I had the email drop into my inbox. So yeah, it's just nice to have them all. I've swatched them all out now. Um, and I've pretty much now got a colour that's going to match everything I make, which is cool. So yeah, really pleased with those. Then continuing with the Nouveau kind of brand, I guess, I saw somebody selling these ones. They were all brand new, unopened. They had all the metal, um, you know, the the seal inside and everything. And these were $13.99 for all of them. And then I had to pay small postage. I think it was £17 in total. Now these on their own vary, you know, from up to £6 each. So yeah, again, I got myself a good, good buy there. Um, love the colours. If I pop them on the side here, you can see they were all colours I hadn't had before. Um, this is another thing I would like to, you know, kind of complete the collection. I've got now, I've got a fair few. Um, I just think it's always nice to have the collections. I do like, <laughs> I just like to have the collection, the four collections. And um, they're really nice for stenciling. You can just lay them down just with a spatula. They dry very quickly and they just give a lovely shine and texture. Again, look wonderful on cards with your stencils, but also on your mixed media projects as well. And again, I'll open one. Let me just open one up just so you can see um, what they look like there. Um, you could mix them as well, mix colours together. You can do lots of things with these. They're just really nice and they are embellishment mousse. There's also expanding mousses. There are... There's another one as well. So yeah, again, if you haven't heard of the Nouveau kind of range before, I'll share all the links below. Go and have a look. They have a very extensive collection of wonderful kind of mediums. And um, yeah, it's just really fun. And it's just a nice way of adding a little bit of texture to your cards. Whilst I was also on the Tonic website that weekend, I decided to just fill up on some A4 size cardstock. So I did do that. What did I get where I showed you all the 12 by 12 when they had them for 75p for a pack of five, I think it was. These ones again were, were pretty cheap. So I just got some more colors and I've actually got some Christmas colors. So I brought two packs of this one here is the candy red um, I got the pack of this green because I'm very much red green and gold red green and silver kind of girl for Christmas I do love those traditional colors and I am starting Christmas cards not the whole lot but just maybe one two a month something like that just to kind of not feel so overwhelmed when we get to December that I've got a ton of cards to make so yeah um, I just thought I'd get them now because they're great colors to use I don't tend to really use it you know, in normal crafting, but certainly for Christmas. I picked up a black, it's a nice jet black there. So I'll compare it to some of my other blacks, but it does look like a really nice black black. Because <laughs> sometimes they can be more gray, they can have like a blue tone to them. So that one looks like it is a good dark black. Then I've got this one here, which is buttermilk yellow. A lot of these are the same as I have already in the 12 by 12. But what I tend to find sometimes is when I go through like maybe a phase of making a lot of five by seven cards, I'm cutting to get a card blank or the sizes to do a five by seven on a piece of 12 by 12, I've got a lot more excess card. Whereas if I cut it onto, you know, from a four size, I haven't got so much um, and I can keep those 12 by 12 sizes more for 3D projects and things like that. So I've also got here, this is Ballet Pink. I have Arctic Blue. 
mustard yellow. I think I've got um, two packs of that in the 12 by 12. It's actually a really nice yellow. Then I've got the mauve purple, coral pink, lots of pinks here, rose pink. This one's lovely, fuchsia pink. And this one is raspberry pink. And then again, love this color. The teals, these colors here are very kind of my kind of colors. Really like those. Um, that's the ocean blue. And then this one here is apricot orange. So again, I didn't pay full price for those. And um, yeah, it's just a nice amount there. You get 10 in a pack, so that will keep me going. Then I noticed um, a seller on Amazon and they have these for five pound a bottle, which is really good. Now I'm coming to the end of my current bottle here. You can see it's just down, kind of, it's just about down here. So I thought now's the time to buy it. But this seller, you have to buy two at a time. So it's five pound a bottle, but I think that's really good. So I've got these two now. These will last me for some years. I don't use this as a glue. I use it just as an accent. So you will see me use it for maybe just kind of um, highlighting the eyes or, um, underwater scenes I'll maybe cover the fish with this to make it look like they're wet and it's good for the kind of air bubbles under the water that's where you'll always kind of see me using these so for those of you that use it as a glue obviously it wouldn't last you as long as I say you know these are going to last me a couple of years because this one here I can't even tell you when I brought this I've had it for a long time and I had the smaller one um, beforehand but it's yeah I love this stuff so um I thought I don't mind actually buying the two bottles because I know it's going to last um, and I'll just keep those in the packaging for the time being until I need them. So yeah, I'll share the links to that seller, but I thought that was quite a good um, price and it was free delivery as well. Okay, and then I picked up these. So I've had these in my Amazon basket for a while and um, I've been, I, well, I follow quite a lot of colorists on YouTube. I really enjoy watching coloring tutorials and just listening to other people's kind of reviews and their views on different products. Now, the Black Widow pencils, I've, I've kept hearing the name pop up quite a lot and it sticks with me a lot because I, I'm, I don't like spiders. I really, really don't like spiders. I can handle this, but um, I think the reason I've just always remembered these pencils is because yeah black widow i think of spiders it's kind of stuck um anyway so i've been watching kind of different reviews and stuff on youtube and they're always coming out as really good pencils so i have my arteza pencils and those are given to me very kindly by arteza and i really like them and i have just yeah thoroughly enjoyed using them and I will continue to use them and feature them in my tutorials but I was really interested about these because these are very very cheap so for one tin I paid $13.99 and that was free delivery now you get 24 so again $13.99 that's a good price I, th I think for a, a nice colored pencil but these are you know being compared to the the premium pencils the the much more higher price pointed pencils on the market so i thought yeah i want to try these now they come in these you know these cool tins there's been a lot of people saying you know they hate this why would somebody put that on the tin but it's actually a very clever marketing strategy i think because you remember this you this is stuck with me i i i know this now i see them and you want your product to stand out and i think when there's so many colored pencils on the market you need to stand out from the rest and these certainly do so this doesn't bother me if it's something that really puts you off then you could cover this if you want to keep them in the tins but I'll show you the the new um, pencil case that I've actually purchased because I like to take all my pencils out I like to have them all in their color kind of order um, and just easy to get so I won't keep them in this anyway so it really didn't bother me but it's something to consider I guess if you are really kind of you know put off by this but I love loved the names the colors that they've put the the names that they've put with these I think are brilliant so let me just get into this one here so I haven't even taken them out yet I've not long got them so these are wax colored pencils um, I'm going to do probably a separate video doing some colouring and making some cards with these anyway so I'll talk into more detail and I'm going to do my own swatch as well because I'm interested to see just how these colours kind of you know compare to the ones actually that they've put on the tin but just to give you just some of the names that they've used you've got stink bug, fang green, casper, egg yolk, toadstool, watermelon, you've got spider's web then you've got black widow Huntsman, Tonic Green, Starry Night. They're just really fun. And I, you know, again, this is like, you know, if you love clothes and you like to buy a different top, even though you don't need them, that's what I'm like with colouring kind of mediums. I, they bring me joy and I enjoy buying them and I enjoy playing with them. So 
I just was kind of yeah drawn in with all of this but the price and the fact that they get great reviews I thought yeah these these are definitely something to consider so I'm glad I've got them so this one is edition a thousand this is edition 2000 and this is edition 3000 and then that's got Black Widow that's got Scorpion and that's got Cobra 24 in each tin but the colours I mean I don't know how you can just see how vibrant they are anyway and as someone that loves bright colours um, I really like that one if you don't want to get all three tins um, have a little look on YouTube like I said there are tons of people that have um, done reviews on these these ones here so this is what does it say it says the same black wood on that one as it does on this one here but these ones are Again, still really nice and bright, but I need to swatch them out because I want to see if some of them have got, they almost look like they might have a metallic finish to them as well. So, yeah, once I've finished this video, I'm going to have a play with these. This one I haven't even taken the tape off. You can see them all along the top. So until I swatch them, I guess then I'll be able to give you more of an idea on the different kind of, um, you know, how each tin does really vary but like I said I know there'll be people on um, YouTube that have probably just swatched or just purchased the Scorpion one or just purchased the Cobra for example so tins are a little bit I mean they are thin but um, there we go all clipped in again I just I love them so I, I'm confident they're going to be good because some of the top colourists that I follow on YouTube just rave about them and they've really enjoyed using them. So, you know, um, they're, they're pretty genuine people that I follow. So I'm confident that what they're saying is true. Um, and you just need to check out the reviews on Amazon as well, which is where I got these. So I'll share the links below. But like I said, I don't want to go into too much detail with them now because I'll do that in a separate video. But I think for the price... Yeah, I'm really excited for these ones. And this is the pencil case that I got. I wanted something that was going to hold loads. And this one, I believe, holds... You can In each of these pockets, I think you can get three pencils. And you have double sides here, here, and then here. It holds a lot of pencils. That's why I wanted it. I've got the Arteza one, but it's, it's, it's about four inches deep. Um, you can take the, the middle sections out. It's for the alcohol markers, but you can put your pencils and stuff in there as well. But I just wanted this. It's nice and compact. I can just take this downstairs. I can take it over to a friend's house and it will hold tons of things. It's got a really nice zip in the back. You get tons of colours. You can choose all different colours. It's really strong. It's a nice, it's padded as well. So it's going to protect them. And um, yeah, I just want something, wanted something that was going to hold a lot of pencils. And then lastly, I picked these up. I've seen these for a while. They're very, very cute. And they are little um, coat hangers. And they're by Tim Holtz. So this one I'd already kind of opened. And basically, I'm going to hang my favourite cards on them. And then have them hanging on my, you know, on my wall. Maybe you might have them all kind of... I've got one of those metal kind of lines that's, um, you know very very taut along one of my walls currently with things hanging on them but I just saw these and I thought I love them and you can you know kind of personalize them where was the oh I must have dropped the little that it's probably on the floor somewhere but you get these it's a bit like a cabochon you know you get the circular kind of glass piece to go over the top well these here are just plastic they're all coated but you can see there's two plastic slightly domed pieces there and then they go over the top of this and you can then stick it over the top and it will go inside that piece there I just think they're adorable really really cute so I got three packs I brought these from again I'll share the link below it was a UK um a, just local small business um and you get two in a pack I think they were four pound so yeah it's I guess well I don't know two pound a piece maybe a little bit more with the postage I guess that's quite a lot but they're very unusual I won't get any more this is enough just the six but I like them so and um, I'm not spending my money on anything else right now and I haven't bought clothes for ages so these are the things right now that are bringing me joy so um yeah I don't feel bad <laughs> Okay, so that's everything for this week, um, or maybe for a couple of weeks. So um, I'm going to be getting them swatched and put away, swatch these, file away all my lovely card stock, hang some uh, of my favourite cards that I've made with my new little coat hangers, get these swatched, enjoy them, do some colouring. I've got some really nice stamps that I want to do, that I want to use and create some nice cards with, and then I'm going to get them all into that new pencil case. Yeah, I'll share all the links that I can to this product in the description box below. Ask me any questions in the comments and I'll be back very soon with another tutorial. Bye.